I have always been curious about why we need to add water to the centrifugal pump before using it for the first time. My understanding deepened when I learned about the working principle of a centrifugal pump. Although the principle seems straightforward, the mechanics are quite intricate. The core component is the impeller, which connects to the motor via a transmission shaft. When the motor powers on and rotates at high speed, the impeller synchronizes with this rotation. As water comes into contact with the impeller, the blades accelerate, increasing the water's kinetic energy. Due to centrifugal force, this high-energy water is propelled into the volute. Bernoulli's principle explains that as the impeller accelerates the liquid, the flow rate significantly increases, reducing the static pressure and consequently elevating the dynamic pressure. The water then exits the outlet under high pressure. Simultaneously, a vacuum area forms at the impeller's center. Atmospheric pressure drives water from the source into the pump body through the inlet, maintaining a continuous discharge and intake cycle. Returning to our initial inquiry, what if the pump body lacks water when the centrifugal pump starts for the first time? To facilitate water entry from the source into the pump, the internal pressure must be lowered. One might think that simply turning on the pump would expel the air and create a vacuum right? The answer is no. Inertia depends on mass, and since air particles have much less mass than water particles, the centrifugal force generated is insufficient to expel the air completely. Instead, it creates a vacuum that allows atmospheric pressure to push water into the pump. Hence, it's essential to add water to the pump body before the first startup. Do you understand? Like and follow for more informative 3D videos.